Hi, this is Shashi Saluna from the Tantric Couple webinar. And today I'm chatting with a couple of our teachers, Damaraj and Orika, who are planning to offer us a class about the anatomy and how that is important, not only for pleasure, but also as a pathway to God. So this is really about uniting the body and the spirit together through Tantra. So let's welcome them. Hello. Hello, Joshi. Thanks for jumping on this call with me. So before we talk about your class, do you want to maybe just tell us a little bit about your backgrounds? Um, because until now you've been teaching separately and now you're coming together, which is great. So Damaraj first, um, tell us a little bit about your background in Tantra. So I come from a, a medical background. I'm a, a dentist by trade, or was before I became a Tantra teacher full time, now lead faculty in Tantra Essence for the last five years. And uh, um, yeah, I'm teaching Tantra around the world alone and also with a team of teachers in Tantra Essence, um, especially with uh, Ma Nanda Sarita. Fantastic. And how about you, Arika? Tell us a little bit about your experience with Tantra. Yes, yeah, so mostly I am working as a woman's sexual empowerment coach. So I mostly work with women one-on-one and I also love doing offline journeys and workshops, which right now are not exactly possible. So <laughs> I am really happy to be bringing our knowledge together online to couples. Yeah. Great. So together you chose to share about the anatomy, right? About our biology and our bodies mm -hmm. and how, how important that is to know that. So what made you choose this topic? It's really interesting because we both are really passionate about this topic separately. And when we met, when we started making love, we realized that we could speak about really specific things. <laughs> There's so much passion that made our lovemaking much more exquisite. For example, we had a story where we spoke about the sperm hotels. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, wow, we both know what it is. And that was so much more <laughs> precise to tell each other what we really desire and what really like, what are like the key points that take us to source. I had never met another person who was <laughs> as passionate about Sherry Winston's work, The Women's Anatomy of Arousal, as Arika. So when we got mm -hmm. together, it was just magic. And just by chance, you know, what do you do? I'm a tantra facilitator. What do you do? I'm a sexuality coach. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course it was, <laughs> you know? We should have known before, but of course. And, uh, <laughs> basically we met, we clicked, and on the first date I was uh, inviting her to live with me. And now we've been <laughs> living together in quarantine for the last few months. Uh, <laughs> It's a good it's way to well. test the relationship, huh? And is it going well? Yeah, exactly. very well. <laughs> exactly. Hey, we're, we're still here. here. We're still here, and we co-creating more and more. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm sure you're exploring the entire anatomy of arousal, right? We are more and more. You on those long quarantine days. <laughs> Can never have enough practice. So, you know, when we're at school and we learn about um, sexuality, like I remember my experience was so much like these very dull textbooks and it was all about getting pregnant or getting an STI. And it felt so far removed from like fancying the boy who I'd met at the weekend and feeling tingles in my body. So I love that you want to like bring anatomy into not only pleasurable but divine experiences. So can you talk a little bit about you know, for, for people who had my experience of it being very dry, how, how do you make that bridge happen? What are you going to teach us in the webinar? I mean, obviously, we'll have to wait till the webinar to hear all of it, but, like, what's the, what's the essence of it? Mm. I think I'm, I'm, maybe, I'm just going to share one practical story from my life just to make the point. So a few years ago, I discovered my cervix. <laughs> and I thought, what is this? I was scared. <laughs> I was asking my friends, do you have the same thing in your vagina too? <laughs> <laughs> and a few years fast forward, right now, it's the favorite part of my whole physical anatomy that directly transcends my experience of being a human to the higher states of consciousness. Mm. And how that started. It started hands-on because I really trust that 
we can read many books, we can learn a thousand new concepts, but if we still have so much shame and, and fe fear to touch our bodies and genitals, we cannot transcend that. Mm -hmm. So by physically touching our bodies and realizing that our raw flesh, skin and bones, this is our sacred temple, we let go of the layers of the crust that's separating us from our true nature. Mm, I love it. And you know, like listening to you speak, it, it makes me realize like Tantra is not a path where you can even spiritually bypass because you have to go through it, right? It's like, and, and not only like through it to get somewhere else, but also to anchor spirit into the body. And I definitely resonate with what you say that if you don't know you have a cervix, then ex experiencing the pleasure of it and the energy is going to be so much less likely, right? Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. And how about you, Don? Let me share for men. Yeah. When I first started having sex, we can't talk about making love or, or tantric practices or anything. When I first just started having sex in university, I didn't know anything about my own anatomy, about her anatomy. And then I put on a condom, the penis would go inside the vagina, and I don't feel anything. Absolutely <laughs> zero. I can't even feel I'm inside. And I'm like, what is the point of this? I something I'm doing because other people claim to be really loving this. And like, <laughs> I don't get it. That's kind of the whole journey. Part of my journey was sexual healing from sexual trauma that I had as, as a child. And part of that healing was understanding, okay, what is my anatomy all about? What is hers all about? even taking courses in university about human sexuality and sexual anatomy to really understand like how, how to feel pleasure and how to really achieve these divine states that I've heard about from other people as theoretical, but unless I have the map, how can I reach that destination? Then mm -hmm. I'm just wandering aimlessly around, just fumbling in the dark, trying to figure this out without any education, without any, um, any guidance. So this is what I want to um, help others to understand this anatomy so that you don't have to be fumbling in the dark. Because yeah. the more you understand um, of the anatomy and the physiology, then in the actual act of sexual union with your beloved, then you don't have to think about those things. It's just going to be already in your consciousness. And then you, in order to reach those divine states, you need to let go of the mind. Stop thinking about what you're doing, but you already know where you're going because you know the anatomy and physiology. Mm -hmm. You just let the energy yeah. move together and you mm -hmm. can reach the totally mm -hmm. surrender, surrender to God, surrender to love. Mm -hmm. I read the word. Sorry, I think the word surrender here is key because if you're holding so much tension in our genitals, we don't know what's happening there. We just simply can't surrender. We're always in our head thinking there's something wrong and we cannot mm -hmm. go into orgasm being in our head. So knowing our physical anatomy is like the first key that helps us to surrender mm -hmm. to my own experience, to our own intimacy, and then bring it up. Yes. Oh, I, you know, I really, I really resonate with it because, you know, I always feel that for surrender, in a way, we need the structure, and then we surrender into that structure, and then we let the structure go, right? And if there's uncertainty, then it's very hard to surrender, right? So we're like fumbling around in the dark, as you put it, Damrush, <laughs> which I think many people are, you know. So, for a couple who are going to watch your class, what will they expect? Will they need notepads to write things down? Are they going to need a mirror to have a look between their legs? Are they going to be looking at each other or? What what will they what will they need to prepare for this class? I think it's great if they come with some questions beforehand and see how the questions transform throughout the workshop. I think mm. having a notepad is great, and mm. afterwards will be available for Q and A, and we love fun and interactive conversations with people, so we'd love to hear that. Great, and it's great if you do have a mirror, especially to see your own anatomy, and also to show your partner perhaps after our presentation to show your partner like this is this structure this is that structure or mm -hmm. go on this exploration together of discovering each other's 
anatomy, you know, play, play doctor, like you kids, yeah. you know, just, just <laughs> without any expectations, like you're just learning. And the more we learn each other's bodies, the more we can uh, take each other to those deep and powerful spaces. Yeah. Great. Great. I'm really looking forward to it. And, uh, I shall get my mirror and my beloved and be ready. <laughs> Thank you and so think, much for offering I this. Oh, yeah. I think it's very powerful for couples who have also been together for a while and they feel like, I want to discover something else, something new about the person that I've been living with forever. So that could be the next new thing. <laughs> Absolutely. <Even forever. laughs> Absolutely. You know, I met a woman once and she'd been, <clears throat> she'd been married for more than 30 years. And she discovered her clitoris using a to one of these toilet squirters that we have here in Asia. You know? And then she realized she had an orgasm. Like she was like, oh, there's no toilet paper. Tried this thing. And she said, and two orgasms and 30 minutes later, and my life had changed. And she signed up for a tantra course and came and did my training. Wow. And she told me the story on the first night. I was like, this is amazing. You know, like mm. this how it is we're not given the right education and so i think this is a really really great thing to <clears throat> offer to couples and a fun exploration and to bring the anatomy together with our pleasure and with our spiritual experience is is really what we need so Absolutely. thank you guys <clears throat> thank you guys so much and i look forward to seeing you there all right